Good morning. It's Wednesday morning here in Cypress, Texas. So I got up this morning and I'm, I'm reading my scriptures. And I started off in Psalms chapter 33. And um, it's. And what I got out of that chapter was um, there's a distinction between fear and the fear of God, and which is a reverence, a, a high level of respect, and um. And I don't like love and and uh, you know it's it's that being just being awareness having an awareness of his presence and uh, it got me thinking about you know when you're teaching people about these different meanings of uh, the the true meanings, the early church teachings on the different meanings of the word. That that's a great place to start because when you when you talk about a fear of the Lord, you know that's the whole thing, like with Oprah, right? See, Oprah, this whole new age movement she gave legs to because somebody said she heard somebody said that God is a jealous God and she took it to mean that God was jealous of her and so it caused her to start looking in other areas. A lot of this stuff with the the um, power of attraction teachers, they talked about this power, this uni power of the universe, and, and like it's this, like it's this, this, this energy that's out there that doesn't have a identity or personality, you know. It, it's not a person, it's an energy. It's, we can tap into, okay. Like electricity, you know, or, or, or the wind or whatever, right? But see, God's not that way. God is like, God wants you, God wants a relationship. God wants us to know him. Okay. Like, like, you know, your best friend, right? Okay. So he, um, so, so looking at God this way, this, um, Sterilized, um, ambiguous entity that doesn't really have a face or a name or a intention. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, just for energy for us to wield how we want. Um, see, he takes the power away. He takes the power away from God. Right? And there's a lot of that out there. So, I came to this, like, there's a, you know, there's, there's, 
this energy, right? So there's um, the collective subconscious. So basically that's like the majority rule, right? That's like we're all getting um, give you an example um, this uh, FBI raid in Marlago with Trump okay there's so many people talking about this and yeah it, I think it's barbaric I think it's um, you know right on the edge of being you know, it's like a fascist, Nazi type situation. But we've had this going on a long time, you know. Had, uh, I'm thinking of that kid, that, that Cuban boy, um, that, uh, the Justice Department had, it's like a SWAT team go in and get this kid out to give him back to his, take him back to Cuba. Why did we even let that happen? You know, how did that even happen? You know, and, um, whatever. Anyway, the, um, then, um, you know, you know, and so here we got this happening with mar lago right? You got to watch out for these people because they're they'll they'll do stuff like this, and then the, the agents that executed them. I mean, what's up with that, right? You know, but it's on people's minds, right? That you know that are it's it's all everybody's thinking about. So it's in the it's in the collective subconscious, right? And then there's the that quiet voice of God, and it's really hard to distinguish the two, unless you have been reading in the scriptures enough to understand the intention, you know, the flavor of God's voice if it doesn't like when I read I read the Mormon Bible and I read our Bible and they the same author right there's a distinct difference in the tone and intention of that book compared to our Bible but like I'm beginning to understand now, you know, in our Bible, you know, there's things that, like the whole story with the, uh, the, the prostitute that, uh, Christ saves from stoning. As far as they know, that's made up. That that last page of that chapter got lost, and just somebody wrote that in there. That's what I read. I'm like, wow, that just takes that changes a whole bunch of stuff, right? The uh, so you know, going back to the early church teachings and how their emphasis is on. The true meanings of these words, okay. It's really getting back to what's really the intention in the Bible, okay. And when you really get to know that, that's when you really get to know God. All right. Have a great day.